What's up everybody? I bet you thought you weren't getting a video tonight because you didn't see it on YouTube earlier. Well guess what? You're wrong. I know it's going to be hard to see me for this one because it is super late. We don't have all that beautiful natural lighting from the sun. So you're just going to have to deal with that because it is 1.40 in the morning and I'm driving back home from E-League. I just uh, got back to the office where I dropped off TWK since we drove down there together. E-League tonight was really, really awesome. It was like we got down there. We had uh, VIP passes, so we got shown around the studio by my guy Brandon. Shout outs to Brandon from E-League, you're the best. Uh, after that, we uh, ran into, of course, all the people that we know from the FGC who decided to roll out tonight. We ran into Guido, who helps run KIT, who's the FGC coordinator for Broken Alliance Esports. Uh, we also got to meet the owners of Broken Alliance, which was super cool. Shout outs to Dwight and Jess. And uh, what else happened? Yeah, ran into Tasty Steve, he was on commentary. Always nice to be recognized by other uh, figureheads in the community. And uh, you know, we ran into the guys from South Carolina, shout outs to Charlotte. South Carolina, North Car I, I don't know where Charlotte is. Shout outs to those guys. Ran into a bunch of people that I see at the local all the time. I don't know if you guys can hear Google or not on here, but she's still trying to give me directions to my house through these earphones, which is kind of annoying. Uh, we're gonna have to pull a U-turn here so we can U-turn our way back to the house. Yeah, so E-League was good. The matches were hype. The production was good. Being in the crowd was good. They let the crowd get all wild and riled, which was uh, pretty sweet. Oh man, seeing, seeing that uh, Ada versus Daigo match at the end. I don't think I've been that hyped for Street Fighter V since L.I. Joe was at EVO, man. Like, because, you know, it's Daigo. Like, Daigo's a big, his story, wow, you guys can't see me for shit, can you? It's just a black screen. Daigo is a huge chunk of the reason why me and a lot of other people who got into Street Fighter around the 04 era are still playing Street Fighter. Like, he's, he's the beast. He's the god. He's the legend, you know? But at the same time, for me, like, the thing that has been very, very special to me as a person wandering uh, throughout the fighting game community last year and this year is the fact that I've been able to, to meet and talk to all of these living legends for myself personally in the flesh. Um, when I started getting into fighting games in 2009, you know, I was looking up all these Street Fighter screams and I was seeing all these names. So people like Justin Wong, Ricky Ortiz, PR Balrog, uh, you know, all, and, and Daigo, of course, like all these people, like were for the longest time, they were just these amazing players and these these names that stood out to me. You know, F Champ, Yipes, like all these folks that I had just they were legends because of you know the fact that I was seeing them on stream all the time. They were winning all these tournaments all the time. They were playing constantly. You know, people like K Brad, people like uh, uh, flipping. Oh, I'm trying to think of the name of somebody in particular, but I can't right now. You know, but all these guys, Alucard, Forever King, like all these perfect legend, all these guys I've been able to, Sonic Fox, all these guys I've been able to, to see in person. Uh, some people get to speak with, you know, speak to personally. Like, it's just been such an amazing year for me. Um, you know, being able to be a part of this community that for so long I just kind of held these people up on stream. Um, and you know, you go and you meet them in person and they're like the nicest, friendliest, humblest people uh, that you can imagine. And it's just, I don't know, for me it's been, uh, it's just been very special. I, I don't really, I don't really know how else to describe it. Um, it it's been, it's been a wild ride. So it's, it's something, you know, after a couple years now of going to FGC stuff, like, the thing that's beautiful about it is you get a lot of crossover. You get these people who are big names who show up at the smallest of events, you know, who show up, at, who show up, you know, all over the place. So if you put yourself out there, you run into these people all the time. You start to make friends. You know, there's folks that you share experiences with um, that just can't be replaced. And it's something that, I don't know. It's just something that's so good. And you know, E League tonight was like. 
yeah, it was in Atlanta. It was easy to drive to. Uh, I know there were quite a few people tonight who drove, you know, several hours to be there. Um, and it was, it was just one of those things where, to me, it's always worth it to go out to these events, whether it's big or small. If it's a if it's a big major, you know, fighting game tournament, or if it's a small offline monthly, like there were guys that I made friends with tonight. Shout out to Corey and Casey um, for like just because I recognize them from uh, final round, and they happen to be local Atlanta players. And you know, there's just all these all these connections and friendships that you make. To me, that's the really valuable thing about going to these events. I mean, yeah, you get to level up as a player, you get to level up your personal fighting game experience, um, but the friendships and the relationships you make of these things are real, you know, and there's, there's definitely a, a family style of aspect to it that is just something that's very powerful. And it's something where, like, if you've, if you've never been to an event before, you need to like you need you need to go to one of these things because it's just i don't know it's a it's a little piece of magic it's something that not not every type of of person or you know people with different types of hobbies don't get to experience this kind of thing it's something that if you have any interest in in fighting games at all like go to go to a tournament go to an offline meetup go to a weekly find out where the where the five or ten or fifty guys are you know, that are within a couple of hours of you and, and go hang out, like make the effort because it is totally worth it. It is totally worth it to get involved. It's so much fun. Um, and you know, that's, it's a big part of why I had a great time at E-League tonight. Like if I, if I went to E-League and it was the first time I'd ever been to anything, like, yeah, I still would have had a good time, but it would have been nearly as meaningful as running into the, you know, all these old faces that I recognize from all these events and being able to see them again. yeah that is my uh that is my advice to you go to stuff go to stuff the experience is magical it's magical it's important oh maybe this thing just uh, has bad view um all right we're gonna stop messing with that anyway anyway if you're watching this i uh, hope you're doing good i'm gonna upload this as soon as i get back to the house in a couple minutes um tomorrow i am hosting a meetup at my house having a bunch of people over to play fighting games all day um it's gonna be mainly blaze blue guilty gear if i have to i'll set up some persona arena on my uh, ps3 you know just so we can have some more anime going or maybe it'll be tech and tag i don't know we'll see what people want um i'm gonna be trying to stream a bunch of it we'll see how that goes um, I may not just because the, uh, the, the Brawlhalla Legends series is going on tomorrow and usually I try to avoid running a personal stream when there's like official Brawlhalla stuff happening. Um, not because I think I could compete anymore, but just because it's kind of a bad look. Um, but there will be a stream at some point, it will be really good. I'm going to be trying to record a bunch of offline matches for uh, all the character discords and the Blaze Blue community and everything. Um, so that should be pretty good. Some gas station open. Mm, I can't tell. I think it's closed. I'm just thirsty. Anyway, yeah. So I'm gonna be doing that tomorrow. That should be pretty good. Sunday I'm gonna be pretty beat. Uh, so I don't know if I'm gonna stream on Sunday or not. There's a slight possibility of that happening. I'm still trying to take time to work through all the single player games I'm rocking though. You know, I'm trying to finish up Persona 5, and I gotta go back and finish Near. I gotta go back and finish Breath of the Wild. I gotta go back and finish Horizon. I gotta go back and finish Hollow Knight. So, you know, there's a lot of single player stuff I'm trying to juggle alongside all this uh, multiplayer fighting game goodness. Don't forget, Blaze Blue Central Fiction drops on Steam next week on April 26th. So, if you've been in the fence about, uh, or on the fence rather, in the fence would be very painful. If you've been on the fence about picking up Blaze Blue or getting into 2D fighters at all, definitely give blaze blue central fiction a look uh it's going to be coming out on steam on the 26th if you're a pc warrior totally understand but it's definitely a great game to get into if you're new to 2d fighters or if you've never given one a chance before i mean don't get me wrong street fighter 5 is great as well you can probably pick that up on sale uh, at any given point and street fighter 5 has got a thriving community and everything 
Um, but if you lean a little bit more towards those anime sensibilities, you like a little, uh, you like a little anime in your life, you enjoy watching some, some ReZero, some No Game No Life, some Cowboy Bebop, some Bakano, some Gurren Lagann, Tengen Tapa style, whatever it is, I definitely encourage you to pick up Blaze Blue because it is a fantastic game, super easy to get into, and I'll be running a whole bunch of content and clinics and streams and stuff to help get people into the game. So if you want to get trained up, just hit me up. I'm happy to teach you all of the basics and find other players. I will happily connect you to other players who are also getting into the game, you know, which I think it's always a huge thing. That's probably like a whole nother topic, my opinion on like finding people around your skill level to play, finding people who can train you, finding people that you can defeat. Um, maybe we'll dedicate a whole, a whole video for that at some point. But yeah, Blaze Blue Central Fiction next week, pick it up. It's the game I have been playing for several months now and am planning to continue to play throughout this year and into the infinite future of Blaze Blue. Oh man. Almost home. Almost home. All right, here we go. Just got to do those final maneuvers back it in. I like how this video is completely pitch black. I wasn't about to like run my run my car light the whole way. That's just bad. That just confuses everybody on the road. All right, backing in, backing up, doing the stuff, and here we go. That's right. I got to back into my driveway because it's whack. All right, everybody. This has been Raven Recordings number three. Thanks everybody for hanging out. Peace.